Hello everyone, Multisaw welcomes you to today's session that is a must for all computer programming enthusiasts. Not to be missed for sure, we are here to provide you loads of information about the Python programming language and its online course conducted by Multisoft. We assure you that the idea of getting trained from anywhere you are will certainly benefit you in various ways. Let's get to know the agenda first. To start with, I will provide you essential knowledge about the Python programming language, then talk about the various version releases, discuss the core philosophy of the language that is the Zen of Python, and later move on to the course specific details. Next will be sneak preview, where you'll get to know about the Python programming concepts and examples of how programs are written in Python. After this, we will discuss how Multisoft will deliver online training for Python programming that will assure you about the quality of the training. And at the end, I will summarize the main points of today's session. The Python programming language was designed by Kido von Rossum from Netherlands. The language initially appeared in 1991 and so is a matured programming language now. Successor to the ABC language, Python syntax is similar to the C family programming languages. Named after a comedy series, Python from the start is all fun and exciting. Users have a great experience working with the language and the shared community. Let's discuss the features that make Python a highly preferred programming language. Python is a general purpose programming language that is used to develop a variety of applications. It is a high-level language like C and C++. Also, Python is completely open source, which means that it is available for free use to anyone. In addition, Python is an interpreted language that doesn't need compilation. It converts the source code into an intermediate form called bytecodes and translates the code to the computer's native language. Python is object-oriented and has a simplistic yet powerful way of performing object-oriented programming. Thirdly, Python is a simple language that makes programming easy. With a very simple syntax, Python users are able to quickly get started with it. To get the Python programming language source code and installers, you can visit www.python.org. Python is a very easy and powerful programming language. Since this is an open source language, it is more of community driven. And when it comes to programming languages, it is always beneficial to have a bigger and better community. As one of the leading programming languages, Python is not only amongst the top 8 programming languages as per TIOBE index, it has also won the Programming Language of the Year award in 2007 and 2010. The TIOBE organization ranks programming languages in terms of popularity and use. Moving on to where all is Python useful, this programming language can be applied in several domains and helps users to develop applications for a variety of uses. Developers are able to use this for rapid prototyping, web programming, scientific applications, XML processing, database applications, GUI applications, game programming and more. Now I will tell you about the various versions of Python. Several versions of Python have been released since 2000, with each generation that is Python 1, 2 and 3 having several upgraded versions. Downloads for all these software are available on the Python website for free. Coming to the Zen of Python, it is a document containing a set of aphorisms that explain the core philosophy of the language. The Zen of Python has been written by Tim Peters. It states, Beautiful is better than ugly, explicit is better than implicit, simple is better than complex, complex is better than complicated, flat is better than nested, sparse is better than dense, readability counts, special cases aren't special enough to break the rules, although practicality beats purity, errors should never pass silently, unless explicitly silenced, in the face of ambiguity refuse the temptation to guess. There should be one, and preferably only one obvious way to do it, although that way may not be the obvious at first unless you are Dutch. Now it is better than never, although never is often better than right now. If the implementation is hard to explain, it's a bad idea. If the implementation is easy to explain, it may be a good idea. 
name spaces are one honking great idea. Let's do more of those. All these explain the entire philosophy of Python in a gist. Let's get to know the Python programming course specifics now. Python programming is extremely simple to learn. There are no mandatory prerequisites for this course, only basic familiarity with the working of computers and understanding about computer science is recommended. Beginning programmers, intermediate programmers, students and individuals passionate about computer programming are the ideal audience for this course. Shared on the screen is the complete course outline for the Python programming course. All these modules will be taught in detail with complete focus on practical sessions. It is time for the sneak preview section. Hope you are excited about it. Python is a very interesting language and I will share a few programming examples that will be very enlightening for you. This will also provide you awareness of how actual training will happen. One of the main emphasis in Python is code readability. On the screen is the most common Hello World program in Python. Very easy and simple. Ideally, the first program that every aspiring programmer practices. Let's understand how to calculate the body mass index with Python. Body mass index is a popular tool used by fitness instructors, health professionals, school teachers, etc. to find the fitness level of a person. In this program, the computer is calculating the body mass index with the help of user inputs height and weight. Height and weight are the variables to store height and weight from the user. The print function is used for displaying strings on the video screen and the input function is used for user keyboard input. The int function converts the string input from the user to an integer value and BMI variable stores the BMI value after BMI calculation. The round function converts the floating point variable into a one decimal point number. On the screen you can see the output of the program we just created. The next example is of the popular number guessing game. While it is very simple to write this with Python, it is a great introduction to big time software development as well as game programming. Random built in module is used for random number generation. The guesses taken variable is to store how many guesses the player is going to take in the game. Print function is to display the prompt on the video screen. Input function is for the user keyboard input. RandInt is a method inside the Python random module. This method is used for generating a random integer between 1 and 20. The while loop is used for making a loop so that the user can enter input again and again. And the if statement is used for conditions. Hope you're concentrating on the screen. This one shows the steps to be written in continuation to what we showed on the previous screen. And here is the output of the game. Wasn't that interesting? Anyway, once you're with us for the actual training, we will give you loads of such examples and practice exercises. You will always have the chance to interact with the trainer to clear your doubts whenever you want. And with that, let's get on to the specific details of how online training will happen for Python programming and Multisoft. When you register with us for the training, we will connect with you as per the pre-decided time and impart training for 24 hours in all. For the exact schedule and each session's duration, you can refer to the training calendar on the Python Programming Online Training Course page. The training happens over Cisco WebEx. This is a secure web conferencing tool from Cisco which allows real-time learning experience. Once you register with us, we send out event links to you, wherein you log into a Multisoft WebEx that allows two-way interaction between the student and the trainer through webcam and voice chat. This is as good as a classroom since the whiteboard allows a trainer to transfer knowledge as done in a classroom. The share option lets the experts share files, videos, applications and even desktops. Once you register with us, we provide you 24 by 7 access to an online resource center wherein apart from accessing other training material, you can also attempt 11 online assessments and 20 hours of lab exercises. Apart from these two valuable practice resources, you also get access to all related presentations, projects and other training material. This is a sample of the online assessment which will test your knowledge on the various course concepts. All the questions will have four options out of which you need to select the correct one. At the end of the assessment, you will get the information on the correct answers and reasoning behind the same. Let's summarize today's session. 
the total training duration of 24 hours will be spread across suitably timed sessions. Multisoft will provide you a highly experienced trainer who is an expert in Python in addition to 11 online assessments and 20 hours of lab exercises. We also offer you 24 by 7 access to a learning management system where you can access all the course material and indulge in precious hours of self-study. After the training, Multisoft will give you a Python training certificate. This session was an attempt to give you in-depth understanding about Python programming online training course. To register with us for the training or to post any queries, please write to us at info at